Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So from this series, we'll be seeing uh, what is object oriented programming and we'll be seeing all the concepts of uh, object oriented programming in the real world. And it will be definitely it will help in your interviews and all those things because in the interviews as you know they are not going to ask uh, the very basic concepts they will might ask only object oriented programming concepts like what is class what is object abstractions encapsulation inheritance constructor all those things so we will be dealing all those topics uh, in this uh, series so if you are all the pre-requests for to go ahead with this uh, video as well as this uh, playlist so you have to be familiar with what all the basics the concepts of python so in my youtube channel i have added all the python basics uh, stuff i will provide the link in the description below you can just go ahead with and you can watch this series or if you are familiar with all those things you can uh, just uh, watch uh, all these uh, parts of the videos in this particular series okay so we'll be uh, seeing what exactly is object oriented programming concepts so we'll see all these uh, concepts like what is class, objects, inheritance, uh, constructor and uh, we'll be seeing what is the uh, multi-level inheritance, what a daemon problem, overloading and under method as well as abstract methods. So then we'll be moving on to the concepts of uh, like I'll be telling you what are advanced level stuff like English comprehension, public private protected, for else function, request and try and accept uh, else finally stops. So then we'll be seeing uh, about uh, these all the concepts like your expressions, pickles, modules, OS and JSON. So my aim is to teach you the advanced uh, programming from in this uh, particular from in this particular series. So basics I have covered in my previous uh, playlist. You can just go ahead and watch over there. So if you want to learn advanced topics as well as the object oriented concepts, so you can just uh, watch with this uh, stuff. So now, uh, as you know, what all the prerequisites. So you have to have Visual Studio Code I'll be using for the editor and uh, Python obviously should be installed. So then uh, we'll start with the programming right now. Okay. So now we'll be seeing what is object oriented programming. So object oriented programming, what does it mean? Like here you can just see object. Object means some particular thing. So it is not nothing but a dry concept. That means do not repeat yourself. So few of the things so you can see in the python functions so if i want to create uh, 100 variables if i want to call function i need to call 100 100 times a particular function and i can just uh, print the particular logic right but here it is not like that here we directly call the class so we call the constructor and we'll create an object suppose i say you to uh, create a 100 employees data and maintain it separately so you can just create a function by employee taking a name age as well as a salary so the same way you need to call the function 100 times call the function 100 times and that data will be uh, the data will just printed and it will just we can just store it into a variable and all those things but it is not that much convenient so we can just use object oriented uh, object oriented way for that like we create a 100 object so we create a class employee which is been taking name salary and age so and we can just create a hundred objects and I can create I can just uh, take all those hundred objects I can just maintain it I can maintain a separate data of the each employee and even I can access the particular data of the employee using a object so like enough so we deal with the classes and objects basically so we'll see what is class what is object how we can create it and all those things then a class is a collection of object and a object is defined as an instance of the class so obviously what is a class class is a collection of the objects and object is an instance of the particular class which has almost all the attributes so we'll be seeing along with this we'll be seeing next what is a constraints constructor methods abstraction inheritance which is coming under the class concepts okay so we'll see how we can just uh, create a class in the python so class begins with the keyword the class so as you know it will be we have a keyword right a number of keywords in python programming so class so class is just a keyword and if you want to name what is a class of what is a particular name so you can use always start with the capital letters and you can just give it any name without which is not in keywords so you can just tell class employee class person class uh, something class object class uh, fruits class vegetables like that okay so here I have said something. So class are not like a function, so we do not have to use keyword. Uh, defined to create a class, instead we use the keyword class. Along so we use the name as a class name. So that is what I have been said. We create a class and we create a class name, then we'll uh, write a logic to it. So that is the syntax of the classes. 
so we'll see how we can just uh, create a class now so now i'll just create a new folder so i'll just create a new folder i'll just make it as oops okay so i'll just create a folder name as oops so this folder i'm going to open inside my visual studio code so i hope you know all those things like how uh, what is visual studio code what is how we have installed and we have created a folder right so this is a new folder i am just importing that folder inside my visual studio code and python is also been installed i think it's done so now what i'll do here is i'll just create a new uh, file name so i'll just click here and i need to create a new name so what is the new name i need to give so i'll just uh, give it as oops one dot your file okay so i'm just creating a python file so which is uh, i'm just creating a python file that by the name oops one dot so it is just running uh, all those things so it will just take a few uh, time <clears throat> so once i created the particular file so i'll just uh, okay see uh, it has been created right so it will take some time uh, for a few other stuff so now we have created the oops one dot python file so now we can just define it so as you know so as said, we need to use the class as a keyword now i'll just type class employee so employee is my class name so then what i'll do here is i'll just uh, create i'll just write a password i'll just uh, to avoid the errors i'll just give it as a password here just, it will come it will not give any errors over there so i created a class employee so now if i want to create a object to it so now if i want to create a object to it suppose i'll just create a object suppose i want to create object one is equal to so if i want to create an object for this class i need to call i need to use same name over here so i'll just use the same name that is employee so that means the class is so object is been created for the class employee so this is the one object is been created so if i try to run the program so basically there is nothing so just uh, it will just create a object to it uh, there is a nothing more to it all right so now all i'll do here is so if i run the program so can you see it is just uh, not uh, selected by this again try to run again it is uh, that is running now okay so once i run the program obviously nothing is going to be affected because we have created a class and we have created an object fun for the class employee suppose now if i have a variable over here i'll just tell name so i'll just create a name as anis rahman okay so i'll just create it a name that has something in the variable that is anis rahman so now if i want to i want to access this name with this object one so how can i access it so you can see the program is running so at the starting it will take time so no fine so now i want to just tell object one dot name if i just call object one dot name if i run the program you can see nothing has been done because it is returning it so but i need to uh, print it right i need to just print it so we'll just try to print uh, what is the object one dot name so this is a class and i have called the class and i have created an object one so i want to access what is the name of it i'll just access object one dot name so if i run the program you can see anis rahman has been going to print because the name whatever the data is there inside the class that is going to be taken as in the object so this is one thing fine that is uh, no problem to me so now i want to create an n number of object so i can just create it if i want to create two objects or three i can just still create it simply in this manner i want to just create a object to uh, which has which is of the class employee and object three of a class employee so where i can access all the functionality of the class so if i try to print same if i want to just try to print object two dot name and object three dot name suppose i have a name and suppose i have a age if i just give it as uh, 23 and if i just give it the age name and salary i'll just uh, give it as one ten thousand okay so i have this three variables inside this class so now i want to print so and the object one so as you can see in the object one everything has been accessed so all this data will be passed to this object one and all this data will get passed to this object two as well as same this all this data has been going to pass for the object three as well so i can print anything with the any of the object suppose i want to print from the object two i want to print what is the age i'll just tell object two dot age okay so i'll tell object three dot name i want to print again name then i want to print again object three dot salary again i want to print object three dot age so i can see once i save this one if i run the program you can see all the data i can access it so object one dot name is printing object two of age is printing and uh, name again it is printing again it is printing the salary again it is printing the age okay so 
all those things i can just easily print it so by using what by creating an object and i can access all the variables of it okay so like this the class and objects are there so it can be a hundred object hundred variables uh, sorry the hundred objects we can have thousands of objects we have so each objects will have all the access of the class so suppose i am creating with this so this is the method of creating a class and creating an object suppose all this thing what i'll again i'll just tell here uh, i want to have a function i'll just tell greet so i have a function that is greet inside the class okay so what i'll take here is it will take name as an argument okay so sorry i'll just tell uh, simply i'll just take it as a greet so what it will tell it will print it will just tell good evening it will just tell good evening over here okay so i have a function by name greet so it is printing the good evening so i'll just comment out with the control slash now i want to create i want to just tell print sorry i'll just tell print so now what i need to do here is i want to just print this particular function so i want to so this function is accessible for all these three objects object one object two as well as object three because uh, it is the class of this employee so these are they are the objects of this class employee so it has all the access of all the data to this object so now i'll tell of print i want to just tell object one dot grid so if i just call this function you can see if i run the program you can able to see uh, i'm getting an error so what is an error you're getting so it is telling uh, grid uh, doesn't take zero argument but one is been given so where i have given as a one so it is not there so i need to just uh, uh, remove like this if i run the program so again i am just saying uh, you can see i am getting an output so what is the output i'm getting it's telling uh, print grid is a main it is just returning the object of this particular thing so if i want to print the good evening how can i do it so i can just give op object one dot grid if i run this in this way so you can see nothing has been done if i run if i just call this function okay it is giving me the error so it is telling me uh employee grid takes zero positional argument but one is being given so where is one is being so i'll just remove okay i need to give it in this way itself because uh, which has been coming so i'll tell here object one dot grid so so how can i do object one dot grid is a per perfectly have been given i don't know why so i'll just cancel this i'll just remove that pass i'll just save it now so now i'll just tell object one dot grid i'll just save it if i run the program you can see it is running but it is not printing it if i try to print if i try to print in this way object one dot grid obj one dot grid so if i run the program now okay so let's save it so even it is just returning me this board method so uh, it is returning in me in this uh, particular fashion because uh, i don't know why it has been not coming it so let's try once more okay Mm. okay so what happens here is uh, if i want to call in this way we cannot call directly call the function so if we need to declare as a static method over here if i just tell it is a static method i'll just come back with this later now if i just try to print as a static method and if i try to print this one so you can see it will be coming good evening and it is none is printed because i am just printing one more time if i just directly call object one dot create if i run the program you can see the good evening is being printed because you have to declare the static method over there so right now i'll just uh, remove this one because i'll tell you that particular stuff with the two things so what is the class method and the class that a static method so now just understand uh we can how to create a class and how we can uh, create a object to the particular class okay so like this also has been uh, possible so now if i want to create a uh, few more attributes by, uh, by using your objects so i'll tell object one so i'll just tell object one dot I want to give it as uh, salary name age and number so i'll just take it as number i want to create a variable the name that is number so i'll just tell object one dot number so i'll just tell object no, uh, number is equal to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay i'll just create in this way so if i just try to print object one dot number i can just do it in this way also same way if i try to print now what is my object one dot number so if i just tell what is the object uh, number is there if i try to print you can see i can able to print the particular number over here so even we can uh, uh, what i mean to say here is we have a variables here and uh, the particular variable values to here to this but if you want something like uh, which has to be created uh, dynamically like uh, 
with the after creating the object i need to create the variables again so i can use in this way also like object one dot number so that number is something like it is this particular line is nothing but it is just simply you are writing in this way you are just writing this particular thing to it this particular employee okay so i can just uh, do it in this way also okay so this is also possibilities of doing it so now suppose if i try to print what is the object two dot number so now i have saved a very instance that is a number that is variable for the object one so let can i able to get same with the object two whatever the number has been defined let me check whether i can get it or not if i run you can see it has been telling object employee has no attribute that is number that means it just works with this particular object so that is the single object it's not with the entire uh, entire class so if you are defining it here it will be available globally for all the objects so when you are doing with this way uh, if you are assigning the values using this method of obj1 dot number so that time it will be assigned to only the object one not to the object two as well as not for the object three also okay so like this you have to be now uh, like you have to just uh, practice with these things so you'll be getting easily so this is how uh, we can uh, get all the data stuff uh, from the particular thing so now we have been seen in this way so now let me check uh, how we can what is the use of the dictionary so i'll just tell here so i'll just tell again i'll just tell print what is the object to so i'll just tell object sorry i'll just say object one dot uh, something we have here as a dict right i'll just save this dict let me see what is it is going to do if i run the program so you can see okay, where is the error okay let's uh, comment out this because it is giving the error object to so if I run the number, you can see, I can see what is the object uh, one dot dictionary. If I try to tell what is object one dot dictionary, you can see I am getting number I, this particular thing I am getting. I am not able to get this particular kind of stuff because this is been assigned dynamically, right? Because it has been assigned dynamically, which has been coming object one dot number. Suppose if I had object one dot, I'll just tell object one dot name. I'll just tell object one dot F name, first name. So I'll just give first name as the RK. So if think, think like we have two uh, variables which we are assigning in this particular way. If I run the program, you can see I'm getting name as a F name. So all these things, whatever the things we are assigning in this particular way, that will be stored into a form of a dictionary. Okay, that is a number as well as a name. Same way if I try to do object 2 dot dictionary. Let me check what is been printed for the object 2 dot dictionary. We can see I'm having an empty empty dictionary because uh, we have don't have any we have not assigned anything for the object 2 as well as the object 3 we have assigned only for the object 1 object 2 so if you want to assign same as it is you need to do o obj 2 dot number some number you can assign and obj 2 dot f name you can assign some uh, first name like that okay it is uh, completely your choice so like this uh, we can uh, easily assign it so that is the uh, number of name and all those things so we have seen uh, how we can uh, get create uh, variables in this way and store it the values and uh, salary and even you can we have seen how we can store it uh, outside of the class so this is thing which has been uh, given inside the particular class this is a particular object this is the thing which we have been creating after creating an object so here the object is created so if i in this line of code it is it is a, it is a object is created uh, created object object is created but here after creating an object we are assigning the particular variables to it okay so like this uh, the particular uh, things works i'll just save this one okay so this is all about class and we have uh, seen what is the age and how we have a can assign all the values and all those things yeah in the class and object so this is a brief introduction so now what i'll do here is i'll just close this uh, class so i'll just create one more file oops two dot py oh, i hope you have understood what is class and how we can create an object how we can create and assign the particular variables to it also okay so this is the next thing so next we'll be seeing uh, about uh, what is the constructor so we have seen creating a class right so you can see the object consists of a state which is represented attribute of an object reflects the property of an object so all the property it has been given the methods of an object which represents the behavior of the object and the response of an object with the other objects and identify which gives unique name to an object so that one object can interact with the other objects so as you saw we have been given the unique name so like a unique name in the sense object one is one name object two name is a second name and object three like that you can create n number of multiple objects for the single class so this is all we have seen 
so now let's uh, see what is the instance and uh, class variable so see uh, instance variables are the variable for which the value of the variables is different for every instance that means uh, but here you see uh, here we have created an instance for object one instance number object one fname is an instance so this is the different this is the unique uh, thing for this object one if you want to create a number for the object two again i need to create two more instance of the object uh, two obj2 dot number obj2 dot fname in that uh, particular way okay i hope you have understood with this so same class variable when a program starts the variables are created and destroyed when the program start stops so class variable since this, this is the class variable so whenever i run the program at the time this is been going to build once once the program is stopped this is going to just destroy all these variables inside this particular class it will happen inside of the program which we cannot see so it is what uh, it has been given over here so then uh, we'll be saying uh, we have been seeing about all this uh, how we can just assign it so now let's see about the next concept that is uh, method so what is method method is just like a function so in the programming we call uh, method as a function itself like uh, it is not like a uh, rocket science basically it, the method is in the sense it is just like a um, function itself okay so just see whenever you get what is the method you can understand it is just like a function add ourselves we will be saving what is self self of so obviously the each method will be taken as a self argument inside a function as if you are not assigning a self it will be declared as a static method so then we have a init so what is init init in the sense initialization so it is been called it in the programming way that is constructor so whenever the class is called the constructor is been definitely it is going to call it okay so we'll see with the programming all right so we'll see with the uh, thing so coming back here so i'll coming back to the object too so i'll just create one class okay i'll just create a class uh, i'll just create a class employee okay i'll just create a class employee so i'll just give it as a pass right now so now i'll tell employee so now i want to create a employee one so i want to create an employee one i want to just uh, pass it uh, the things uh, dynamically like that so suppose i want to pass like uh, i'll tell uh, my employee one, i'll tell emp1 my employee one is one object so i'll tell i want to call the employee so i'm just calling an employee class so this is the way i'm just calling it so here basically it is none right so what i'll do here is i want to pass three things so first i need to just pass the name i'll just pass the name here as uh, farhana so then i'll just pass what is the company she is working in i'll just tell amazon she is working in amazon then i'll just disclose her salary what is her salary i'll just tell to a lpa so her, her salary is to a lpa something so then i'll just say hi and what is uh, her uh, what is her role i'll just tell role it is as cloud so she is working in the cloud suppose i'm just uh, displaying so i want to have a employee so whose name and i'm passing the company name salary and her role same i want to create one more employee so i'll just tell create employee two so object so this time i'll just uh, call it as my name here anis so i'll just tell it as uh, infosys so i'll just give it my salary something file pa then i'll just tell it is a i am a developer okay b e v e l o p r developer okay suppose we have the two two employees the employee name one and employee two so now i want to just pass all those things and i need to create one object to it i want to create one object so that i can uh, print his details and i can call n number of functions and all those things okay so i can do so i need to do such kind of stuff right now so now i have created so let's see what is in it now first so first always always whenever i create uh, whenever i create a object first the thing it is going to call first it is going to call the constructor so in this way i'll just tell def <coughs> so which we are not seeing so it will just call this init method so i'll just tell the thing it is going to call this init method you can see it will take self as the argument it will take self as the argument that means all the argument it is going to pass it self as the argument so it will just remove this such kind of stuff i'll write here okay so as you know you have known about what is the indentation and all so now i have created an uh, employee so i am just telling a uh, def uh, init method which is going to call that cell so now i need to pass so i am passing 1 2 3 right four, four things right four values i am just passing it so first i am just passing what name then i am just passing what is the company then i am just passing what is the salary then i am just passing what is the role right 
So I'm just passing what is the rule. So now I need to once I once when, whenever the object is created, it is just going to call automatically this init methods init method which is take self as an argument all the argument it is going to pass with a particular variable so then i need to just say so what are the self current object current object dot name i need to create current object dot name i need to create so whatever the name i'll just set it whatever the whatever the name is coming from the object so this is the i'll just tell name over here okay same way i'll just tell self dot self dot and to just pass what is the company so self dot company is equal to so i'll just pass the value of the company so this company is going to pass it here and this company value is going to pass it here and it is just store it one instance variable that is self dot instance variable is been created for the instance object okay so and this will call whenever an object emp1 is created this method is going to call okay that is constructor is going to call so i'll just mention it here it is something calling the i'll just tell calling constructor calling construct constructor calling the particular constructor so which is going to call take the self as your argument and name company salary and row same way i need to just tell false that is a self dot a salary salary is equal to so i need to just give it as salary so then again self dot row self dot role is equal to role so I'm just passing the name, company, salary, as well as the role, whatever are coming from the constructor and just creating an instance variable and I'll just create it. So you can see now the error is been gone. Now you can see the error is been gone. So once I save this program, if I try to run this program, I think I doesn't get any error because we have created successfully two objects. You can see it has been running perfectly. So it has been running perfectly, right? It is running the perfectly. All those things are running amazingly. So now done so i want to print the details of the employee so how can i print it now i'll just create one method now, now i can just create a method i'll just tell this method is going to print the particular details i'll just tell uh, i'll just tell just tell employee details okay employee details so what it will take even these things will take self as the argument because self in the sense it will take so each employee has one object right that objects particular values only it should take and it should print whenever that particular object value has been called it's so it is not like emp one dot print details if i say it should not print these details it should print these details itself so that to track all these details we are using a self as an argument over there okay so self argument is been going to take so now what it is going to do i'll just tell print it so i'll use the f string so i'll just tell uh, something um name is so here i'll just tell employee so i'll just tell here as a I'll just create one employee, I'll create one variable. I'll just tell something like uh what I can say here as greet. Okay, I'll just tell greet. So it will tell good morning. Good morning. Okay, greet will take good morning and a new line. So this is the one thing I'll be just creating one normal instance. So this will take for each and every. I'll just tell so the name is so I'll just tell first I'll just mention here uh good morning, okay. So I'll just print, I'll just pass this greet over here. I'll just directly, I'll just pass the greet it over here. So there is no need of uh, passing um, the thing I got. So I think I need to, okay, it, we need to pass it. So because we need this also self, because it should take uh, as a self argument. I need to just tell self dot greet, okay? So these are just taking the values over here. So after this, after anyways, I have given here as a new line, it is going to print it into a new line itself. So the name is, I'll just tell, what are the name is? So the name is, again, I need to just tell, the name is self dot name so whatever the name i have to pass i can just pass it in the name again i'll just put a new line i want to print company company is again i'll just tell it in this way that is a self dot company okay as i have given as a company over here so then i have given as a salary so i'll just tell again i'll just give it a new line i'll just tell salary I'll just tell SL salary is self dot salary again in the new line i'm just going to print what is the rule of it i'll just tell again uh, the rule is self dot roll over here okay so i think you have understood so basically you can just see what all the entire uh, stuff so i have created a class then i have called the constructor so it is just used for i'm just writing one method this is we call it as a method method so this is the method i have added 
so which will take self as the argument now i want to pass all this value whatever when this object is created so this is going to create an employee it will just fill all these details in the constructor after running the constructor that's all constructor has been run so if i want to call this function it is going to just call the function so by name that whatever the thing is there it will just print it the client will just tell great good morning name is this company is this salary is this much and role is this much okay so same way it will work for n number of uh, objects so now if i want to print it i'll just tell emp1 i want to just three what is the emp1 dot company i want to just see what is the emp1 dot company name so this i'll just try to print it okay i'm just printing it so obviously what it should print emp1 company it should print amazon and if i try to print what is the emp2 company emp2 company it should print infosys so for another program obviously you can see amazon and infosys has been printed okay at least like we can just print like this in this way now i want to just print what is the emp1 dot employee details i want to just print all the employee details of it so if i try to print it this one you can see i am getting an ml data over here so you can see uh, the name is farhana company is amazon salary is uh, 12 lpa role is a cloud got it it is printing perfectly you can see the employee one details it is going to print perfectly but one thing i can notice here it is not printing the grid self dot grid it is not printing why self dot grid is not printing let me save it again if i try to run the program you can see now it is printing because i think something more problem so it is printing so good morning name is farhana and uh, company name is farhana amazon and all those things same way i want to print my name as also so i also after print i'll after printing this thing i'll just give it new line i'll just give it in the new line okay so i want to print this data my data into the mp2 so with the object i have stored it in the mp2 if I take emp2 dot employee details it will just call go to this class employee and it is going to print all these details but in the program you can see all the data has been coming here so if i just see here show here so you can see uh major infosys uh, sorry this really this is the variables i'm printing here you can see good morning name is farhana and company is amazon salary is 12 lpa role is cloud name is anis company is infosys salary file pay role is a developer so i hope you have understood what is a class what is an object so in this uh, particular thing we have seen what is the constructor so why we need constructor so constructor is used to initialize the values of your object so emp is one of emp1 is an object of an employee class so all the data which i am going to pass it is going to pass it to the constructor and it will assign it to a variable name company salary and a role so this is the use of the constructor okay so if i try to have one method let me check if i try to call def i'll just tell def employee okay if i try to call def employee if i try to call def employee if i try to print hello i am a default constructor okay so it will just tell hello i am a default constructor let me check what it is going to so what is this employee you can notice one thing the diff the function name i am just giving same as a class name. the function name i am just giving same as a class name but it is not having any parameters let's check what it is doing if i try to run the program you can see something is happened something happened over here so name is complete role is developer default constructor is been running default constructor is running let me cancel it again so here i have employee one so i'll just try to run again so amazon infosys and good morning name for to lp so you can see all the things is working but means so here it is not so let me why it is not calling i don't know so i'll just say hello i am a default constructor let me try. i have created an object so let me try here emp1 dot uh, employee i'll just call the class employee Okay, it is just giving positional argument has been given one. Okay. Okay, I think this is not going to call because uh, that works in the Java. So let me check. Uh, let's delete it. Just uh, ignore that. So because if you want to create in this such method with a zero positional argument, we have to give it direct. We have to declare it as a class method or a static method that we will see later. So now uh, we have uh, seen like how we can just uh, print. Uh, basically, we have just seen the constructor. 
So in the in the Python, the constructor works in this way. That is the init. The init will just going to call it. So whenever we want to declare the values in this particular way, like we have a number of data, so we can just uh, declare in this particular way. That is a default. That is a init constructor. Okay. So now we have been seen about the self and init. So actually, let's read what is about the init body of the constructor. So the def keyword is a function init method argument. This is the argument or optional. We can define it as a pass it also like inside it. Uh, the first argument refers to the current object which binds to the instance to the init method. All uh, like before only I have been said it to you. Okay, so um, we have been seen now. So now let's see what is the class method and what is the static method it over there. So let's see what is the class method. So let's see what is the class method now. So now I'll just remove this. Uh, something is been getting important. Let me remove. So now I'll just uh, copy this everything. So now let's create a new option, new class that is uh, the new Python file. Oops, three dot Python file. Oops, three dot Python file. So let's rename it again. Oops, three dot Python file. Okay, so now I'll just uh, paste everything over because I I don't want to create. I don't want to type all the things again and again, which is already been uh, typed. So now we'll uh, see about what is the stuff. So like, what we'll see what is the class method now. So what is the class method? So what is the use of the class method now? So now uh, here I have employee details. So I have employee details and all those things. So I'll just create something. I'll just declare it as a class method now. so let's uh, i need to use a decorator at the rate decorator that is a decorator is a class method what this class method does means so i'll just tell create a class method. i'll just tell i want to change the company name now. so i want to change the company name uh, of the objects so here it is been assigned so if i want to change the company name now so i'll just declare one class name what is that what it, this particular class is going to do here is it will just create a function i'll just tell it will just create change the particular company change the it will just change the particular company okay it will just change the, change the particular company so it will just tell two argument it will take so first it will take cls as our default argument then i need to give i need to pass what is the company name right so i'll just tell the fun company name it okay so i'll just tell uh, cls and the company uh, i have passed cls as well as a company so next i need to just tell what is the new company name now so now i'll just tell whatever my cls is so i'll just tell cls dot company so i want to just change the company name to whatever the new company has been coming so suppose i'll just tell so this is a new company which has been getting passed so i'll just make it as new here new company so this will get passed it over here so now suppose farhana is working in the amazon suppose myself for anis is working in the infosys suppose so now i want to change it from infosys to tcs so i want to change it to tcs so how can i do it any two there is one two way so once the object is created it is done after creating an object how to how to uh, rechange the particular values of it so at that time we need to declare one class method which is some particular name and you can which is nothing we need to just change it so here i have just changed the new company now so now what i'll do here is i'll just call the class so now i have been emp2 right emp2 has been created so now what i'll do here is i'll just tell cancel i'll just uh, comment out this everything so now i'll tell I'll just tell emp2 dot so you can see i'm having change company option i'm getting that is mean change company it will take the new company so now i want to change it to tc yes okay i want to just change it to tcs over here. i want to just change it to tcs now basically the employee to object has a company name that is the infosys now i want to change it to tcs so now try to print the employee two dot details whether it is changed or not let me check before also i'll call again I'll, here also i'll call employee two dot details first i'll call the default data employee two and is uh, infosys file but then after changing where it is changed or not let me check so once you save and run it so you can see good morning and name is anis company is infosys and uh, salary is file pay role is developer so again good morning name is anis company is infosys it is not changed you can see it has been not changed why it is not changed so uh, it is not changed why 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 the employee details you have changed it to tcs let me check i'll just say save it to tcs i'll just save it i'll just save all so now if i try to run the program so again it is not getting changed it is not getting changed it is not getting changed 
So I'll just tell you again again. So why it is not getting changed? Let me check it. Okay. So you can see it is not changed. It is just been enforces itself. But even though I have changed the company name uh, to the TC. Okay. I want to just say EMP2 dot change company. Company here I have given as a company, right? So CL2 dot company and a new company. C O M P A N Y company. So it is correct, but uh, something has been mistake. Okay, so actually, basically, we cannot uh, change because uh, we can change this one grid. I can change the greetings. Suppose uh, because uh, here we have to declare once the object data has been declared, we cannot change it in this way. So there is some other different way we have to use it for that to change that update the details uh, by just telling the employee two dot company itself directly. We can just change it. So if I just tell employee employee two dot company, so if I tell employee two dot company is equal to TCS. If I try to run the program now, so you can see now it is being changed. That is TACS. Okay, so that is that is that like that way we can just change it, not uh, in this way. So now let's see. Uh, change the how to. I can just uh, change the particular data over here. Suppose here I'll just tell there may be a one particular uh, universe something like. Uh, okay, let it be a grid itself. So here I'll just change change grid. Let me change it to G R E T grid. And even here I want to just like uh, change it to. Grid, new grid okay new greeting so i'll just tell it cls uh, that is uh, with this party in this in this particular class we have a grid right so i want to change this one okay so now see here i have to change the new grid now so basically what i'll do here is so tcs also i'll just change it again i'll just tell emp2 dot change grid so i want to change the greetings to good night good night it will be coming starting with the new line comes with the new line suppose it is coming with the new line okay so now what i am doing here is so here grid is defined it is good morning so for the employee to after first it should print normally then it should change company then it should change the greeting here it should change the greeting to good night then the rest of the data it should get printed okay let's see how we can do that will get printed now if i run the program you can see uh, i'll just read it again i'll run the program so you can see it has been coming good morning and uh, uh, name is Anis, company is Infosys, salary is 5LP. This is working. Done. So, again, good morning. Name is Anis, company is TCS. So, because uh, that is also working, because uh, it is TCS has been changed to here, salary as L5 LP and role is there. But one thing is not getting uh, done, one thing is not again, it is not, not uh, printing. What it is not printing, that is the greeting. Greeting is not changed, right? Greeting is not changed. So, greeting is not changed. So, class dot. Um, so I have just glass method, it will just change the particular uh, new greeting. So change the grid is equal to new greeting. It is not changed. Why, why, why? So I think I need to change it into another way. So okay, I said wrong way here. It should not be like this. It should call here, right? So it should be in this way. It should be in this way because I am not assigning it. I need to just call this change grid function and it should be a good night in this value it should come if i run the program now so now obviously i think it is working so you can see good night name is anis company is tcs salary is file pa rule is a developer i hope you got the things like about the class method so basically class method is something now i have a great here function that is a good morning so i want to uh, greet differently for a different different object at that time what this is a global right so for all the object default it is going to take self dot greet means it is going to take good morning itself it is not going to take everything that is not that. but suppose i want to change it suppose i want to change the greet like this so you can see in this this way it did not work emp2 dot change greet is equal to good night means that was not working emp2 dot company changes it is working but emp2 dot uh, greet is not going to work and even the so for that one we have need to declare one the class method which we can just uh, change it for to for changing the particular uh, particular uh, class variables so to change the class variables we use the class methods so that i can just choose given some given some particular name and which is taking cls and a new grid and which is going to print it the uh, new name over here okay so like this uh, it is going to print it so this is about the class method now let me check suppose i want to have a function which is not related to my this particular class itself but i want to declare inside this one class so at that time i will use a static method here so static so static 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 where is the static so this time i'll just use the static method okay. 
so this will it, it will just tell it will just tell uh, what it will tell means um, it will just tell me uh, about something like company so it will just tell about company it will just tell me about the company this will just tell about the company data like how many people are working it so what this tell me here also we need to just use pass the self argument okay so if i'll just not use the self argument let's really give it as it is like this okay so there is no need of giving this is not related to this class itself but it is just a data static data which i want to keep it which is not related to my any of the stuff so i'll tell you what it will do here it will return it it will return this function is written the value so we'll just tell it will, it will return in f string uh, total employees or one five four this money something okay so the total employees are this particular number it is going to return this is a company method but it is not related to any of this thing so now i'll just cancel everything i'll just comment everything now i want to just tell with my object one emp one dot i want to get the company data i want to see what is the company data with this object run the program so you can see it is returning what it is not returning because i need to just print it right i not print it so p or int print so let's tell a is equal to emp1 dot because i am just uh, because uh, as you know it is returning when it is returning it we need to store it into one variable and you can just print the value i'll just tell print a so i'm just storing in a and i'm just printing a so you can see the total employees are one five four seven eight nine ten nine six so like this we can just maintain one uh, static data and even enter the class suppose if i forgot if i don't declare as a static method whether i can able to do this one we can see i am getting an error by type error company data takes zero positional argument as we have seen in the initial only so because this will take self so if you want to give like this so you need at that time you need to give it as a self here. so if you give it as a self it will work total employees are one four five seven that means if you are giving a self then you are passing all the data to this particular uh, function also for this, for this particular method so if you want to keep it outside anything that i want to just say uh, i want to not combine this but this function is a secret function this secret function is for everything every, it is not related to any other uh, function or any other constructor it is not connected to it at that time you can just declare that particular thing as a static method so after declaring a static method if i try to print it now that is going to print it. that is if i just i never you are declaring a static method you cannot give the self argument so let's remember like this so you can see the total employees are one five four seven eight nine okay so uh, that's all for this uh, video i hope you have uh, understood like uh, what is uh, we have seen what is class how to create an object and how we can just create a constructor how we can create a method and i have taught you what is the class method and what is the static method so the remaining concepts will be seen in the another session so take care bye bye